hello good day students how are you all hope children you all are keeping you safe inside your house children this is really very difficult time and i hope you all are taking very good care of yourself and your family by taking all the safety measures to keep you and your family safe and sound children this is your english language class and today we will study about the chapter 1 of our english language book the name of the chapter is the sentence so children first we will understand what is the sentence sentence is a group of word that conveys complete sense for this you should know you should revise what are letters in english english has 26 letters that is a b c d e up till z and when these letters join together they form a word and when we write few words together it becomes a sentence but sentence has certain rules like the sentence always starts with the capital letter it should have a noun or a pronoun so children what is noun noun is the name of a person place animal or thing and pronoun are the words which are used in place of noun like he she it they and many more so children a sentence should always have a noun or a pronoun and it should have a verb now verb the action words are verb like come go sit stand and many more and one more thing it begins with the capital letter and it ends with the punctuation mark that can be a full stop question mark or a exclamatory mark so children what is sentence a sentence is a group of word that conveys complete sense it always begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark and it ha it must have a noun or a pronoun and a verb if these three elements are missing it means that is not a sentence few examples we can discuss if we have the sentence like in sleeps bed then it it is not giving any sense it means it is not a sen- sentence maybe it is having a pronoun it is having a verb then to it is not a sentence but if we say like this he sleeps in his bed it becomes a sentence it is having a noun a verb pronoun and verb it is starting with the capital letter and ending with a punctuation mark so children now we will understand few different types of sentences first we will discuss the statement what is the statement sentence that state something or give us information are called statements for example kavita switched on the television gray clouds covered the sky these sentences are telling us something they are passing some information they are giving us some information so they are said to be statement they always start with the capital letter and ends with a full stop now we will discuss questions now children what are questions the sentence which are asking something which are inquiring something are said to be questions like where are you going what is your name means we are asking something we are asking answer for that line it becomes a question it become it begins with the capital letter and ends with the question mark there are few words you can keep in mind if you find that word in the starting it means that is a question like why where when who 
which is and many more now we will understand what are requests the sentence is in which we are asking for help or we are requesting someone to do our work that is known as request like please switch on the light please give me my book in these sentences we are requesting we are asking for help so these are known as requests and this sentence also starts with the capital letter and ends with the full stop now we will understand about commands what are commands commands means the sentence in which we are giving order like in the class your teacher says keep quiet everyone take out your book from the bag so in these sentences the teacher is giving you order so these are commands okay like don't talk so loudly these all are commands this sentence also begins with the capital letter and ends with the full stop now we will understand about the exclamatory sentences the sentence is which shows feeling which have some special words to express the feeling of the person these are known as exclamatory sentence like wow what a beautiful bag you are having so these are exclamatory sentence this sentence begin with the capital letter and ends with the exclamatory mark i hope children now you all have understood what are the sentences already we have done this in the online session but if you will listen this video you will understand the concept more clearly and you will revise the whole chapter with this so children today we have understood what are sentences and different type of sentences like statement questions request command and exclamatory sentence children read this chapter and soon i will be giving you few practice sheets so that you can do the practice at home thank you children and have a nice day bye